currently we have 48.6% of the eligible 16 plus population boosted. That's really pleasing, but we do want to see that increase. We've got over 85, 95% of people aged 16 plus have had one dose and 94.1 have had the two doses. We continue to see a slow uptick in the children in that five to 11 year old age group. So again, urge parents um, to come forward with both their five to 11 year olds and their 12 to 15 year olds, which is sitting at 83.4% uh, have had their first dose. As the Premier has indicated, it is pleasing to see that the ho decline in hospitalisation and ICU admissions, and we're hoping that that trend continues. But please keep getting tested, and if you need a PCR test, please know that there is capacity for you to have that PCR test, and also that the turnaround times are performing very well. So there should not be any barrier to access to testing, be that PCR or rapid antigen testing. And if you've had a rapid antigen, positive rapid antigen test, please register it on the Service New South Wales site. Not everyone may be able to navigate that site. They might not have access to um, computers. So please be aware that there is a, a call number, 137788, that can assist people register those rat test positives. Now, the reason I'm so keen for people to get diagnosed and for people to get um, connect is because I need them to be connected to care. Um, there are treatments and therapies that will benefit some people. We also want to make sure that people are aware of what the signs of deterioration are. And so can I just encourage everyone to continue to get tested, continue to isolate if you're positive, but also most importantly, get connected to care and escalate any concerns you have. We currently have 2,068 people in hospital and 132 in ICU, 61 who are ventilated. We've got 9,690 positive test cases returned in that 24 hour period, and that includes 6,810 positive rapid antigen tests and 2,880 positive PCR tests. Now those positive PCR tests, those 2,880 positive PCR tests were returned from 29,241 PCR tests overall. We are announcing, sadly, the death of 18 people, 12 men and six women. Two people were in their 60s, five people were in their 70s, six people were in their 80s, and five people were in their 90s. And can I express my condolences to the families for their loss? Three people had received three doses of the COVID vaccine, 10 people had received two doses, and five people were not vaccinated. So can I echo um, the Premier's comments? Um, we do need to have three doses of the vaccine to give us the optimum protection against the Omicron variant. And for some people that will involve having four. If they've got underlying health conditions that suppress their immune system, um, examples might be transplant recipients or people on particular chemotherapy. So please, do not consider that you've completed the journey with vaccination at the moment until you've had three for the majority or four for those with underlying health conditions. I want to also convey to the community that we will be having an ongoing journey with COVID as we transition. So we need to keep up to date with our current guidance around vaccinations and we may be recommending in future months um, additional vaccines depending on that target guidance. So rather than seeing it all as just to get here, it is going to be a fact that we have to continue to adopt and calibrate to the new challenges in our learning. But the vaccines work. They are so incredibly effective. So please go out and get your booster as soon as you're eligible. And please, if you've got underlying health conditions, check if you should have actually been having four doses and please get that vaccination and get your vaccines up to date.